Hello, MechWarriors! How is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere. We're gonna continue our journey, and I really wanna hunt down a heavy mech today. I wanna see if we can find a cataphract, a marauder, a warhammer, anything that is bigger than my medium mechs right now. And I think uh, we are in an okay scenario to actually find those, but uh, maybe, maybe we have to punch a little bit higher. So let me quickly talk about what I'm saying here. We are currently in an area where we have a multi-mission operation, but this is a 5 to 8 level. I think what we need to go to is... Uh, wait, where is it? 7 to 10, up here. There's also a high reward quest that we can try to get done. And I think now that we have a bunch of medium max, we can actually, actually try that, get it done. Uh, at the same time... Mm, oh god, there's a very lucrative mission set here. Do I want to take it? Do I? Uh, maybe? No, we're not doing it. We, we just go there. We just go right there to Marlow's Rift and uh, try to actually hunt down a heavy mech today. And that's the plan. So, let's see if we can pull it off. I'm gonna go back to the Black Knight because that thing has the most firepower and the biggest firepower. Should be in the hands of the pilot with the best skill. That guy here. I mean, I'm just saying that <clears throat> the AI pilots are sometimes not that great. But anyway, here we are. Uh, we can play for either one here. Warning accepting this contract with House Kurita will retract the frontline support Kurita contract. Sure, I mean, we are good. We're in good standing with the Federated Sons anyway, so let's go for them. This is an open broadcast to all Davion loyalists and enemies of the Draconis combined. First Prince Hansa Davion is ready to bring the gift of liberty to those suffering under the boot of House Kurita. You can carry the flag of freedom to those worlds, taking part in their liberation by running support missions for the mighty and victorious Davion invasion forces. Aid our causes by destroying critical installations behind enemy lines. Don't wait, join the armed forces of the Federated Sons today. Okay, sounds legit, we'll do it. Also, MacMarket tells me that there's a Dragon Sea. The sea is not that great. We'll not take it. <gasps> hunchback 4H. Now that, my friends, is a good Hunchback. I'm actually interested to pick that up. I am really interested to pick that up. That has so many medium, medium energy hardpoints and a medium ballistic. And I have an LBX lying around and a bunch of medium lasers. That could be a viable, good mech. Like a real good mag. Um, then there's a Shadowhawk 2H, which is okay. I mean, it's it's alright. It has some medium missile. Actually, small missile hard points. As well as one medium energy and then one uh, medium ballistic, right? AC5 is medium? Yeah, I think it's medium. Okay, um, I'm actually thinking about picking it up. Let me take a look. Okay, before we do anything else, what's the... What's the, what's the limit here? It's 230. Um... And then there's a demolition mission at uh, 68 difficulty. That seems good, man. That seems really good. We're playing against House Kurita again, and they don't like us. All right, so we're gonna start this. We will see. Maybe we can salvage something. This planet has some options here, so maybe there's a thing that we can actually uh, check out. Also, market. Let me see what we got on the market. It seems like, nah, nothing really. Good. All right, let's play the contract. Let's play the high reward mission. We're gonna take all the salvage in the world. That's 27. We also put... Wait a sec. This is a raid. I'm gonna take an artillery strike. Hell no, we're gonna take two artillery strikes. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. Alright, so I'm also taking the Black Knight. And we actually have a bit more tonnage. So you are pretty good with ballistics, you say. Trained on machine guns, it's time to step up the game, buddy. Get the hunchback in the game here. And the Vulcan is okay. We'll keep the Vulcan. Yeah. And I also wanna keep the Trebuchet. The question is, which pilot do we put on this mag? Hmm, maybe it's good to take Lieutenant Sinclair, because Lieutenant Sinclair is already trained with uh, with missiles. My cat wants things from me. Oh no. Anyway, here we go. Gonna take the Black Knight. We have a Hunchback, we have uh, a Vulcan, and we have a Trebuchet, so we have a nice mixed build uh, setup here. Some long-range support, support, some burst damage the from the auto cannon, and, and some skirmish, and me with the lasers. The Seems good. We'll need to take out the oh, the cat. Network. Remember though, this is an active war zone. An so active war zone? Ah, it's fine. Our employer has okayed the use yeah. of airstrike on this mission. This is that. Got it. Ooh, I think I've played this mission before. There's a lot of enemy forces here. Like, a lot of them. And I think we just should just stay on the high ground here and use that as our vantage point. And uh, shoot into the lower areas. Can we trigger that? We cannot trigger it yet. 
Mmm, that does nothing. Alright, so we have to take the ramp. That's fine. Okay. I'm a bit distracted by the cat. I'm sorry. Kenna, she's, she's always trying to get my attention meowing. I don't know if you can hear her. But... There's a thing. Alright, so... Down to the ramp, and my, you know, my AI pilots here are already looking down this area. That indicates that there's lots of forces sitting down there. I don't want to use that yet. No. So, we're gonna go for the trap first. Let's attack it. Let's also try to get an optimal range. Oh, there's more. I think I see his champion there. I'm gonna take it. All right, let's see. Oh, please, guys, don't get into friendly artillery. <gasps> What's the trebuchet doing? My trebuchet. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. All right, let's take the tanks out. That is a pretty big mission here. Man, they got obliterated, obliterated by our artillery here, and I love it. Okay, trap is down. Champion is next. Hey, champion, can I headshot you? Is that a thing? All right, I don't know. He shut down, actually. All right, let's just destroy him. And then there are enemies behind us. That Arty strike, it came in, not really clutch, but it helped out big time. All right, Jenner. Uh, I'm gonna take the tank real quick. All right, so now we can deal with the Jenner. Oh, okay. Well done, team. So, that was the first objective. Our trap actually got significant damage. I don't know why he was going all in on that. That was crazy. That was dumb. Maybe because of the medium lasers? Maybe because I said the attack command? Could have been. Could have. Okay, so we got the first two targets down. And there are two more. There's also helicopter support coming in. By the way, always go for the turbines of an Igor because that's a separate hitbox that has very little health. And uh, you can take down the helicopter by that so quickly. Okay, target destroyed. I just want to get down with this quickly. Ah, out of range. Can hit that. And now that. Alright, so, what's the next big goal here? Let me take a look at the minimap. Uh, there's only one thing left. Sure, I would say we go back. Actually. Uh, I don't see it. I I just don't see it. <laughs> this tank, what's he doing? What is he doing there? Also, something to pick up. I always like that. <clears throat> so let's get some. Let's get some extra salvage here. Show up. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Perfect. Okay, so uh, back uh, to the high ground, and then I think we're gonna attack this other base also with a big a preemptive artillery strike. That I think it prevented so much uh, return fire by just taking out so much armor, and I think we killed the Jenner instantly. That was so good. I loved it. Quiet destroyed, a quiet destroyed, that's fine. There's another one. I have the feeling that they are sending the reinforcements from the other base to us. Follow me, guys. Follow me. Just follow me. We don't need to attack a turret that is not relevant to the fight. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Alright, another tank coming up. No, that's a turret. Man, I love this Black Knight with the chem laser. It's the chemical lasers are doing so much work here. It is beautiful. So now we need... We need line of sight. Right, we're gonna quickly do an economical disaster here. Uh, Alright, let's do it like this. Alpha one, one. this is Sierra two Look at this. I should attack him. I should attack him as well. Oh, this hunchback is not having a good time there. Not at all. Yeah, he's down. That's what he is. Ah, they got a dropship. Yeah, can you take it down, guys? Thank you. So where's the dropship coming down? Probably behind us or something, right? Is there a dropship? 
I don't know. By the way, would I pick a champion? I would probably pick a champion. Sure. There was a champion on the board. If I can take it, I will probably go for it. It is a heavy mech. Ooh, I will take that. I will gladly take a rifleman. Oh my freaking god, I want that. Okay, okay, okay. How do we get it? We need to headshot it. So we're gonna take a bit of damage, willingly, to get into a good range to actually try to go for a headshot here. Clear that real quick. So I have unobstructed line of sight. Here comes Rihanna. Okay, stop bobbing. Ah, don't twist. Mm, maybe we should just kill him. Yeah, I guess that's it. So our target is destroyed. At the very least, we have a chance of getting that rifleman. They really dropped in our escape zone, right? Does it mean there's more? Yeah, we should just go. I mean, there's enough salvage on the board already. That was good. By the way, our trebuchet. Oh boy. Oh boy, where is it? I don't know. Maybe I should make it a brawler and put SRMs on that thing. Oh boy. It wants to get into the fight all the time. Let's actually check out how much damage the trap dealt over the course of this game, okay? And then, of course, the AC-20 Hunchback as well. I wanna see. Come on. Show me. I also wonder what we will get out of this uh, priority mission. Mm. Would I pick up 4P? I think I would pick a 4P. We could also just take the Janners for money. Why not make it a all medium laser chem boat? That could be a thing. Alright, so the other things that we are taking are... Jenner. It's lots of money. This would be even better for less picks. Sure, I'll do it. And then an AC5 burst fire tier 0. Yo guys, we have a hunchback. <laughs> Alright, so, contracts. There is a demul demulition mission here. Uh, I don't want to play a demo mission here. Not really, not exactly. Let's go down here, right? Play this demo mission. Yeah, uh, but before that, we gotta do some repairs. Uh, also, the other question is, do we pick up the hunchback? I want heavy mechs. Why would I, would I, why would I settle with a hunchback now? No, we are going for the heavies here. Okay, so no hunchback for me. I mean, we have the 4P, so we don't need to take the other one that was on the market. Let's go here. Although, I would say it's the best hunchback, because again, in LBX, a bunch of medium lasers is all you need on that guy. And then just shoot everything. It's pretty good. But, okay. Let's uh, get to the next part of this high priority mission. And uh, maybe we can find something there. And here's the thing, we have 11 million seabills, so if we ever find something uh, interesting to pick up, we can just afford it right now. We also have lots of stuff in the storage, we have a lot of weapon systems and equipment that we didn't sell yet, so uh, we probably have like 30 million. Eh, let's say 25. 25 million. Alright, next part of this mission is uh, a demolition mission. It's quite interesting, I think I'm gonna go down the same path. We'll max out the salvage, we'll take two strikes, sure. Get him down. And we'll play the same composition. Let's do it. Ha! <laughs> I love this. I love, I love, I love this. Honestly, the Black Knight is such an asset right now. It has a lot of armor, it has a lot of firepower with the chemical lasers, and it is mobile enough to actually play most of the missions with a 64 kph. It's a very nice middle ground of having everything, basically. It's kind of the perfect balance of armor, firepower, and mobility. I really like it. And uh, it's a sexy mech. I love that thing. Another thing that I want to look for is a Marauder, because this is where we can actually start playing reliable ballistic builds. Because um, the Marauder has a medium, like the 3R that I'm thinking about, has a medium ballistic on the left shoulder. Left shoulder is here, actually. Um, no, wait, on the right shoulder, so I was pointing out the right one. Um, and we can pay and put a heavy rifle on that thing. I wanted to show you guys. Okay, let's get the mission done quickly. It's 2,000 meters away. The Combine is employing a Merc group okay. to do run-and-gun raids on Davion supply lines. We need to take out these mercenaries to alleviate pressure on the Davion forces. This is a demolition mission, right? 
We've been cleared for airstrike support on this or is that a defense but no it was demolition would be so bad if I drop airstrikes on our own base now oh we should probably clear that before we do anything here <laughs> alrighty so my idea is to go through the canyon get vision on the base and then drop two arty strikes on them and then get the hell out again but I think there was a little, there was a little ball with the explosives uh, on the on the top, as a mission icon. I think that is demo. It's pretty much. And Reyna said something about k killing mercs and so on. Let's go for it. Let's do it. So we have an airstrike ready already. Mobile units on radar. Alpha one one. Read you five by five. Standing All right. The fireworks. Let's Sierra do it. Two, one, out. That is so much damage. Achievement unlocked. No thank you. Whatever that means. Second airstrike has to recharge, but while we are walking to the front line, we might have uh, have it later on again. Uh, also, what salvage are we gonna take here? Shadowhawk 2K. Lame. Kintaro. Alright, that's something. We gotta attack him. And we gotta attack him quickly. Now we can start. I'm gonna for, go for the Kintaro super first. Bring it down, Bring it down. okay, cool. And do it. Okay, so we got that. Actually, we can headshot Kintaros quite nicely. We have a pretty big head hitbox. Oh, we just go for it. Let's go for it. Alright, so next up is a turret. Got him. And, oh god, a panther as well? All right, we're gonna try to take your PPC out there. If that's possible. And then we're gonna deal with the rest. All right, PPC is down. Yeah, there's a lot of firepower here. Take that real quick. And then the Shadow Shadowhawks are nasty. Because they have a lot of armor. And then there's an urban mech. My target priority switches every second here. Let's get that. Alright, so now we can deal with the tanks. And I just wanted to say that the Shadowhawk is doing me the favor of facing me directly. Hey, Hawk. You are caught now. How do you like that, huh? That was not a hit. Got him. So, could you deal with... Nothing? Uh-oh. That was a little bit too much. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm getting wrecked. My mech is getting wrecked, and I don't like it right now. The area is down to half capacity. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm legged. Oh no. Oh no. All of these ankle biters here. Look at those guys. Um, here's the thing what, I'm, what I wanted to say all the time here, before I got interrupted by myself all the time. Um, I think we triggered additional defenses when we destroyed the base down to 50%. And all of a sudden, everybody and their mom showed up. That was not so good. Okay, you are dead. I'm gonna go to base now. Holy crap. I mean, we have all the weapon systems still. Okay. Ah, the fire starter's coming in. I gotta defend myself. I mean, I can defend while wrecking, correct? And then there's another scorpion on the high ground. Gotta deal with him as well. Okay, where's the starter? Hey, starter. I actually can shoot him with everything here. Alright, so good, so far. I mean, we can just get out of here when we are done. That's a thing. That thing, and now the starter. Saving my long-range weapons for the long-range target. Going for the close-range target with the close-range weapons. And this is all about killing now. Let's hope that I'm not losing a weapon system. Ah, no! No! That was me! Me being mean! Okay, attack. And I think we're gonna just get out of here now. Yeah, we destroyed the right arm of the trap. Oopsie. This mission will actually come with a pretty big cost. We are done. Let's go home. Where's home? Pickup zone for evac? It's down there? Alright, got it. Do I need to defend myself again? I don't know. There's a Wolverine coming in, as well as the, the freaking Urban Mech, which is still here. Let's get him out of here. Mm. 
Okay, will be. Who's shooting PPCs at me? It's a Manticore? It's a Manticore. Hi, Manticore. How are you? Gotcha. Gotcha. Right, there's so much stuff going on. But I think I just want to get out of here now. We took enough damage. The trebuchet, yeah. Not in a good spot. I mean, we can shoot while we are moving. No problem there. Ooh, his legs. Okay, turning around. Ooh, the twist. Get that thing down. Get that thing down? Nah, not quite. But it's okay. Let me take a look at the... Not the Hunchback, but the Wolverine. My teammates might even... Wait, no, we need to pick up a Wolverine. I just realized we have a Katina mission for it. Ooh, okay, let's go back. <laughs> I, I was just not aware, but I think my teammates have it covered, correct? Yeah, seems like it. Mech kill confirmed. Confirm. That's good. That's good to hear. So, you can now deal with the harassers and everybody. I think there was still a Manticore or something. No, not a Manticore, but a uh, Scorpion. But I'm gonna get out of here now. Let's go. 48 kph. What else do you need? It's a pretty significant reduction. But at the very least, we are still able to move. Yeah. So, again. Bit... A little bit of damage. Hunchback seems fine, though. Trebuchet seems mostly okay. Honestly, we can replace two medium lasers. Yeah, it's okay. There's a patrol, but who cares about the locust? Oh, they bring another dropship. Ah. All right. Nah, it's fine. I would have not played the... Uh, no, I wouldn't have fought the dropship. And the mechs that they dropped. Wouldn't have. I needed to get out of here now. Let's do some repairs. And let's get into the next part of the mission, shall we? This is gonna be good. I wonder what we get out of this as a reward. I mean, we're in a pretty high tier area. Mid, mid to high tier area. We cannot pick up the Wolvie, sadly. Hmm. Spider 2K. Oh no, spider. Spider Hawk. Yeah, it's a Spider Hawk. Mm -hmm. Alright. I picked a Shadow Hawk, I think. Maybe we picked a Kentaro instead. That would be a nice brawler. And you know what? We don't have a Kentaro yet, so let's go for the Kentaro. It's in a pretty bad condition, obviously. But the build that it runs, you just strip the LRM5 and the medium lasers, armor up, get a little bit of heat management and uh, ammo in it, and you have a good time. That thing can wreck things. Maybe we play the Kentaro a bit. Why not? Okay. Apart from the Kentaro, we'll just take the things that are most valuable and we go home. Pretty good. We get a Panther? Really? A Panther? I mean, this is a pretty good PPC, but... Eh, okay, fine. Commander! You may feel like, it's, uh, like a small, insignificant figure under the shadow of the mighty Deviant War Machine, but rest assured, your role was critical, uh, critical role, uh, in aiding your invasion, our invasion. As a show of gratitude for answering our call to arms, we wish to gift you with this mech salvage from the Curitan front lines. Take your pay, and now you're bolstered to Federal Sons and bringing freedom to those in need. Okay. We killed some fire starters. We get chem lasers for it. Thank you very much. I like this. That's pretty good. And uh, I think we have to do some repairs here, right? God, look at all of this. That's crazy. So which which panther did we get? We got the one that we destroyed earlier. Seems like it. But we also got a Kintaro now. And I think I actually wanna I wanna go and refit. We're gonna bring all of those to cold storage right now. In case we need it, we can actually bring them back, as I was saying. Ah, whatever. So, I want a Kintaro on the battlefield. And we don't have good missions here anymore. And this is a level 8 to 10. Can I go there and repair and have a good time? Is that possible? Sure. 27 days. Alright, let's go there. I hope that they have some goodies available. That's just what I'm going for here. 
Maybe we can buy a heavy mech. Maybe that's it. If we are able to buy a heavy mech, I will probably not bring the Kentaro to the battlefield. Although it is an excellent mid-game mech that can just burst enemies apart like it's nothing. It's really good. Oh, okay, okay, there's a lot of stuff happening here. We're gonna take a look at those before we do anything else. 38 is pretty good. Um... I would swap out... It's 27 out of 38. Yeah, I would easily do that. And I would drop Lieutenant Sinclair, I guess. I could get rid of um, this here, but he is already 5 out of 6 in ballistics, so that's really good. It's a very good ballistic trained pilot. I think we can also drop Lane, because Lieutenant Sinclair is very good all round. Maybe we keep them. What are you? You are a very good missile pilot, with decent energy skills. I like that. 27 is huge. We'll take you. Alright, so we have another Missile Mech Warrior. Let's take a look at the market, because there's also maybe something to be acquired here. I'm looking at the weapons and I don't see anything super high tier, except for this LRM-5 Stream Artemis. I'm never taking LRM-5 Artemis. You put an additional ton on a very low, low tier weapon, and that's not worth it. This medium laser is maybe okay. It's an okay pickup. We'll take it. This SRM-4 is glorious. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. That's good. Now, the next big thing is we take a look at the mech market. And we have an Assassin 21. Not great. Locos, not great. Phoenix Hawk, not great. Shadowhawk 2D is actually okay. That's a, that's a pretty good one. You can slap four S uh, sorry, three SRM-4s on this guy, as well as a, a rifle or so. And uh, you even have some medium lasers. This is an okay Shadowhawk. 2D, definitely one of the better variants. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Would I do it? Would I do it? It's a little toasty. We have three jump jets, so we can... <sighs> Not really get a good build done, I think. Not really. Not on this Hawk. I think I just built the Kentaro and we have a better time than with the Hawk. But if you see a Shadowhawk 2H, uh, sorry, 2D, then uh, take a look at it and, uh, you know, consider if it's good for your current, for your current uh, tonnage bracket. Alright guys, here's the thing that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna rebuild the Hunchback. Rebuild that guy. What did we lose? Chem laser ammo, medium and large. We can make it better, we can bring it back, we have the technology. Repair all. Okay, nothing happened. Everything's okay. Mm, and the trebuchet lost an arm. I don't know how that could happen. Ah, there must be somebody on the battlefield that was not... not considering friend or foe here. Alrighty, guys. It's Kintaro time. Let's go ahead and make a loadout happen on this guy. We're gonna repair everything. This has to go. We are not pu putting any LRMs on that guy, by the way. This is all about the short-range missiles. And I want SRM-4s here. Because they have a better cycle time. Just four of them. Four SRM-4s. And... Uh, I can put the double heatsink in here. That's good. It's kind of protected. We max armor. And we definitely have to put more heat management into the mag because that's a crazy brawler. And I think... I don't know. Maybe three tons of ammo is good enough. I hope it's enough. It has to be. Alright, guys. This is our Kintar. Actually, back armor. Always consider back armor. I think I'm gonna go with 12 here because I want to be in the thick of the fight with this. So a little bit more than my usual kind of 10-ish. There we go. Is it worth dropping a bit of leg armor? Maybe it is. Getting another half ton of ammo in here so that we never run out of ammo. Bit of head armor? 24? 50 on the legs? 20? Seems good. Alright guys, we have a brawler. That's a Kentaro. By the way, there are other variants of the Kentaro that can do it better. And uh, I am looking at the, the Golden Boy, by the way. If you find a Golden Boy and can make a build like this happen, you can make it even better. So, uh, let's quickly apply the Camel Pattern. And I would say we're gonna check out our new mech in the next mission, shall we? Take a look at the star map. 
there is a cantina down there, which is fine. This is Assassination in Warzone? Let's go there. Sure. I am super eager to play a Warzone because we haven't really done that yet. And I want to take the Brawler because that's perfect for it. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. Now we can also play Assassination. Go in, kill fast, get out. Kentaro is decently fast. Uh, actually, how fast is it? It's 81? 81 kph, yeah. Alright. So, what do we play? What do we play first here? Who? Do we go for the high war zone contract? That seems like a good idea, actually. At the same time, we are heroes. That's good. Um, do we have the tonnage to actually put it off? I think we actually need more heavy mechs. Huh. I'll take a one artillery strike. Just to have additional firepower when it's needed. Yeah, you can see here, we are actually lacking tonnage. But let's go with the Kentaro. That's a nice burst brawler. We have you on the energy base mech. 21 out of 30. How do we play this? I think I want to keep the Hunchback. Do I want the Trap? Or do I take... The Enforcer? I guess not. Here's the thing. I have a better pilot. We're gonna do it like that. Alrighty. So, this is gonna be our lineup. Um, we are under tonnage. We have 49 days to wait for the Kintaro to be ready, but I think it is absolutely worth it. So, Warzone. Haven't played that, I think, ever on this playthrough, right? Oh, did I? No, I did play it. Like, I think twice or so. Never mind. Let's go. And it's a big one. So, expect some huge enemies here. Um, by the way, uh, artillery strikes will be more and more important um, the further you progress into the game because um, there will be just overwhelming amounts of enemies. But those enemies will be, because they are heavier, will be slower. Which means that you can just drop artillery on their head and just you know, shake them up and they cannot really avoid it. It's a good map. Uh, uh, ish. Don't like this rock formation here. Enemies might spawn behind it and then we have to hunt them. And we have to destroy every every enemy before the new wave comes in, so that's a bit of a shame. Okay, let's go. Let's do it like that, I think. Maybe like that. Okay, here we go. So, what's shooting us? Huh? Is anybody here? Also, I need to preserve my left arm, so there's gonna be a lot of right side twisting when I'm trying to avoid fire. Ooh, that's a manticore! But hey, we have the trebuchet helping us out with some missile support. And it's currently not really hitting anything. You know that you need to lock on, right? Buddy? Buddy? Okay. Alright, we're gonna take that. Uh, wrong weapon groups, I think. Again. Ow. If my teammates could help me out, that would be fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. Ah, they were attacking the Manticore, I see. I see, I see. So far, so good. So... Uh, no, my, my weapon groups are fine. Never mind, I was just a bit confused. Let's get into the next fight. We have to destroy 22 enemies here. And there's a dropship coming. This is so good. Am I going for it? You can... By the way, when the dropship is coming down, you can already set the marker. And then let them just run into that when they are when they are dropping the, the the hell is being rained upon the heads. Oh no. Okay. Here's the thing. Nope. Yes. But no. Ah, uh, come on, stay here. Got him. Okay, okay, okay. So that was an important kill. I'm gonna get behind the sand and I just wanna hit him in the butt. Uh you don't go anywhere. No. You don't go anywhere, buddy. Also, right side of the griffin, take all of the weapon systems out of that guy, and he will punch out. It's not going critical, right? 
Nah. <laughs> We're fine. Oh, he is! Okay, 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 okay. Close! Close, close, close. That was not so good. Yeah, it's a crap. It's a crap. Okay, Javelin, another Igor. It's high priority target. Actually, can I direct my people attacking the Igor? Come on, guys. Hit him. Hit him hard. Please. Oh, no. Oh, we got him. That thing dealt so much damage. So much of it. So those little guys probably won't stand the firepower that I bring here with all of my SRM4s, right? Hey. Uh-huh. Come down. <laughs> okay, so far so good. You know what? I'm gonna go for the crab already because that thing actually brings some firepower. Crab legs. Oh no, oh no, different target, different target. Right now. Oh, good shot! Very nice, very, very nice. New target, a crab. I should not override, by the way, not really. Again. No, it's right side twisting that I need to do, right? I said right side twisting, not left side. I instinctively do left side, I don't know why. Alright, another dropship. Um, I mean, they are escalating their attacks. It will get heavier and heavier. We're gonna wait out this dropship, and the next one is gonna get... The artillery strike. Alpha one one. No, no. Five five. Gotta lead him in there. For the fireworks. Hey, guys, Sierra come in. Oh, God. I hope that worked. Uh, battle master first, guys. Battle master first. <laughs> yeah, we shaved a lot of armor. I want to stay in his back, ideally. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. This is what I love about this Quebec. It's so good. Uh, again, left side twisting, not allowed. Go right side twisting, Barra. What are you doing here? Uh. Okay. Chain firing here. I got a cool. Not quite there. Got him. Yeah, he's going critical. Move it. Wake up. Wake up. Get out of here. Okay, we're fine. So, there is still a lot more to come, by the way. There is so much more to come. And I can see that my mech is a little bit toasty. So, we definitely need more double heat things. Definitely. Man, that Adi strike against... Uh, Okay, I'm stopping my sentence here. The Yardi Strike against the Battlemaster. I wanted to say it was needed, but maybe it wasn't because I instantly destroyed him with my SRMs by back shooting him. That's a victor. How much salvage rights do we have again? How much? It's the last wave of attack, by the way. Okay. You go for that guy. This is just a VTOL, this is a warrior. You can probably take it, right? Okay. Okay, I want the Partisan out quickly, so I don't have to worry about him anymore. And then there's a Victor. And and what else? I would... Would I take a Victor? I don't know. Not sure about that. Got that guy. Now this guy will go for me, huh? Oh, nope. That AC-20 needs to go quickly. Uh, Yeah, I want to get in his back. Victors are mobile, though. We might be able to get... And uh, turn around here. He's down. That was a very important kill. Leave my arm alone. No, oh, he destroyed one of my... Um, SRMs here. My car is L. As in German. Take both arms off the Phoenix Hawk. That's an idea that is always good. Wait, we don't have our SRMs on the arms anymore. All right, so you deal with the Phoenix. I'm gonna go for the carrier. And then we go um, and get out of here as quickly as possible. Hey, carrier. How are you doing? Gotcha. So you're injecting, and then instantly we gotta get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's run. I don't want to stick around. I just want to get out of here as quickly as possible. 
That was a crazy mission. Definitely higher value, higher difficulty than we should have taken. But we made it so far. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I I'm gonna run. What do they bring, though? A battle master again and a centurion? We are out of here. We just go. Oh, guys. Please don't get shot in the butt. Just run. So we made it to the evac at this point. Nobody should take any single point of damage anymore, technically. There's another Igor coming as well. Yeah, we made it. Ooh, what a mission! That was a good challenge, I gotta say. The burst build just worked. You can just maneuver around with the 81 kph and then just blast assault mechs in the bot and they just die. And that's what happened here. Let's hope we can actually salvage one of them. That would be an incredible power spike. I want a battle master. Oh. Okay, I'm not taking a battle master. I'm gonna take the AL Centurion, which is an okay thing to have. An AC-10, which is a good, you know, it's a good one. That's a good AC-10. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, I'm disappointed. But hey, we made it. We level up like crazy. That's good. And, uh, you know what? We have to repair and refit. And that's the thing that we're gonna do in the next episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Guys! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. We continue tomorrow, actually. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to get the notifications. I hope to see you then. Goodbye.